Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice square root math problem, which is the square root of 21 plus square root of 33 plus square root of 49 plus square root of 77 divided by square root of 3 plus square root of 11 plus square root of 28. So let's provide a solution from here. Now, we, we can let x to be equal to square root of 21 plus square root of 33 plus square root of 49 plus square root of 77 divided by square root of 3 plus square root of 11 plus square root of 28. The next step is that x is equal to square root of 21 can be expressed as square root of 3 multiplied by 7 plus square root of 33. This is the same thing as square root of 3 multiplied by 11 then plus square root of 49 which is square root of 7 multiplied by 7 then plus we can express square root of 77 as square root of 7 multiplied by 11. Everything here divided by square root of 3 plus square root of 11 plus we can express the square root of 28 as square root of 4 multiplied by 7. The next step is that square root of 3 times 7 this is in the form of square root of a multiplied by b which we can express as square root of a times square root of b. Applying this property, then we have that x is equal to square root of 3 multiplied by square root of 7 plus square root of 3 multiplied by square root of 11 then plus square root of 7 multiplied by square root of 7 then plus square root of 7 multiplied by square root of 11. Everything here divided by square root of 3 plus square root of 11 then plus square root of 4 multiplied by square root of 7. When you take in the numerator here, for this part here, we have square root of 3 is common, so we can factor out square root of 3. Into the parentheses, we'll have square root of 7 plus square root of 11 cross the parentheses then plus in the second part here square root of 7 is common so we can factor out square root of 7 into the parentheses this is the square root of 7 plus square root of 11 everything here divided by square root of 3 plus square root of 11 then plus square root of 4 this is 2 then square root of 7. So in the numerator here, square root of 7 plus square root of 11 is common. So this means that here we have square root of 7 plus square root of 11. Then we have square root of 3 plus square root of 7 divided by. In the denominator here, we have square root of 3 plus square root of 11 plus 2 square root of 7. So this is the same thing as square root of 7 plus square root of 7. So we have x is equal to, this is square root of 7 plus square root of 11 multiplied by square root of 3 plus square root of 7 divided by, now here we have square root of 7 plus square root of 3 plus we have here we have square root of 7 plus square root of 11 so we can write this as x equal to square root of 11 plus square root of 7 multiplied by square root of 7 plus square root of 3 in the numerator 
divided by square root of 11 plus square root of 7 here then plus we have square root of 7 plus square root of 3 now the next step is that we can let a to be equal to square root of 11 plus square root of 7 and we can let b be equal to square root of 7 plus square root of 3 so that now x here is equal to we have a multiplied by b divided by we have a plus b so that we have 1 over x this is the same thing as a plus b divided by a multiplied by b and this implies that 1 over x this is the same thing as a divided by a b plus b over a times b now we have 1 over x is equal to a over a b we can simplify here and we can simplify b and b here so we have 1 over x this is equal to 1 over b plus 1 over a now if you recall if you recall we have that a is equal to square root of 11 plus square root of 7 and we have that b is equal to square root of 7 plus square root of 3 so this means that 1 over x this is equal to 1 over we have square root of 7 plus square root of 3 then plus 1 over a which is square root of 11 plus square root of 7 so we have 1 over x this is equal to 1 over square root of 7 plus square root of 3 the next step is to introduce a conjugate here which is square root of 7 minus square root of 3 and let's multiply the numerator with square root of 7 minus square root of 3 then plus here we have 1 over square root of 11 plus square root of 7 multiplying by the conjugate which is square root of 11 minus square root of 7 and in the numerator we have square root of 11 minus square root of 7 so we have 1 over x this is equal to in the numerator here we have square root of 7 minus square root of 3 divided by now square root of 7 plus square root of 3 this is in the form of a plus b this is a minus b which we can express as a squared minus b squared so here we have square root of 7 raised to the power of 2 minus square root of 3 raised to the power of 2 then plus here we have square root of 11 minus square root of 7 divided by now here we have square root of 11 raised to the power of 2 minus square root of 7 raised to the power of 2 So we have 1 over x, this is equal to square root of 7 minus square root of 3 divided by square root of 7 raised to the power of 2, we eliminate the square root sign, so this is 7 minus, here we eliminate the square root sign, so this is 7 minus 3, then plus, here we have square root of 11 minus square root of 7 divided by now let's eliminate the square root sign here so we have 11 minus 7 so we have 1 now we have 1 over x this is equal to square root of 11 minus square root of 7 divided by 11 minus 7 which is 4 then plus square root of 7 minus square root of 3 divided by 7 minus 3 which is 4 so we have that here 1 over x this is equal to we have the lcm here is 4 so 4 divided by 4 this is 1 multiplying by square root of 11 minus square root of 7 
then plus 4 divided by 4 this is 1 1 times square root of 7 minus square root of 3 so we have square root of 7 minus square root of 3 so minus square root of 7 plus square root of 7 simplifies so that we have 1 over x this is equal to square root of 11 minus square root of 3 everything else divided by 4 So this implies that x here is equal to, this is 4 divided by square root of 11 minus square root of 3. Now the next step is to introduce a conjugate here, which is square root of 11 plus square root of 3. And let's multiply the same conjugate with the numerator here, which is square root of 11 plus square root of 3. So that we have x is equal to 4 multiplied by square root of 11 plus square root of 3 divided by. Now, square root of 11 minus square root of 3, this is in the form of a minus b. Square root of 11 plus square root of 3, this is in the form of a plus b. a minus b times a plus b. a minus b multiplied by a plus b this is the same thing as a squared minus b squared this is the difference of two perfect squares so that now here we have square root of 11 squared minus square root of 3 squared so here we have x is equal to now we have 4 into the parentheses this is square root of 11 plus square root of 3 divided by let's eliminate the square root sign here so this is 11 minus let's also eliminate the square root sign here minus 3 so that now we have x is equal to 4 into the parentheses square root of 11 plus square root of 3 divided by 11 minus 3 which is 8 so let's simplify here. You can divide 4 divided by 4, this is 1. 8 divided by 4, this is 2. So we have x is equal to square root of 11 plus square root of 3 divided by 2. So we have x is equal to square root of 11 plus square root of 3 over 2. Square root of 11, this is the same thing as 3.3. 3. 1662. We have square root of 3. This is the same thing as 1.73205. So that means that x here is equal to 3.31662 plus 1.73205 divided by 2. So this implies that x here is equal to 5.04867 divided by 2 and this will give us a value of 2.5243 now this is the solution to this square root math problem so kindly follow the steps like this video and kindly subscribe please like this video and subscribe see you in the next video bye bye for now